Hello and welcome back to episode 21 of the Notts County Challenge uh, in League Division 1. And as you can see from the schedule in front of you, things have gone quite well. Since our 4-0 demolition of Port Vale, we did lose in the first round of the EFL Cup to Warsaw. We were, we were struggling in that game to be fair. Alan Campbell came up with a brace. That was probably the only highlight that we really had. That was good. But then the second game in the division, we went on to beat uh, Wimbledon away, 2-1. Again, Adam Campbell with the brace. He seems to have come into quite a good form at the moment. Then we played at home to Bolton. We were comfortable in that game, but we just couldn't hold on to the lead. Again, Adam Campbell scoring. Alex Reed popped up this time. And then in the last game, as you can see, we kind of mauled Crawley to death. Although they did have a spirited late fight back towards the end. Possession wise it was evens so it would suggest but we were all over them. As you can see from the shots and on target ratio that's it's 10 out of 16 on target is fantastic. Alex Reed comes in with a hat trick. It's just nice to say our forward line is working really well. Alex Reed and Adam Campbell fantastic between the pair of them. I know we're playing three up front, Sam Byrne and Donnelly alternate and possibly um, Hilton as well, I'm trying to find the best combination. Donnelly seems to be playing better as a provider at the minute, not as a scorer, but I don't care as long as somebody's scoring and the goals are going in. So if we look at the table, we're sitting pretty on top. Three wins out of four and a goal difference is quite good as well. So same sort of thing as to last year we're looking to we're not looking to die away but we're expecting to like fade away after a while this is a good start i wouldn't expect us to hold this position right through the whole season i won't complain if we did even better so today we're going to bring you home to gillingham and at home to doncaster as well in the check trade trophy which we seem to do quite well at, but we can't seem to get past the the next round after the group stages. So we'll try and do better this time round. So, oh, just before we carry on, we did make a transfer. Cal Jacobs joins us from Queen of the South with a £62,000 fee. We wanted to bolster up the midfield um, with that towards see I think we're going to have to let go we're not playing any wingers and game time in the middle he's not going to get we have Lesniak we have O'Connor we have Thompson we have Patton who's a new signing as well our midfield is pretty solid and to be honest Kyle Jacobs played his first game last in the 4-2 win at Crawley and to be honest he played superb he had a 7.1 rating in the last game so I'll, I can't complain. Again, he's played in the championship in uh, in Scotland. Wealth of experience. Saying that he's only played 214 games, but that's pretty solid for me anyway. So at home to Gillingham. Let's see if we can keep this um, good form going. So with the side that we're going to go with, I think we'll bring Patton in. It seems um, we'll bring him for Lesniak for the time being. So we have Gillespie in goal with Brophy, Duffy, Dicky, and Two Tool. Two Tools kicked off a bit of a stink. He wants a bit more game time. I'm looking to move him on. He is probably our fourth, fifth choice right back. But in order to move him on, I need to give him some playing time. Uh, midfield we have O'Connor, Jacobs and Patton so we've got uh, the new guys Jacobs and Patton in there O'Connor just to bolster it up with a bit of experience and then up front we have Campbell, Reed, and Donnelly Campbell and Reed, I've, I'm swapping them around now and again and Donnelly on the right hand side as well so see if we can just move them around a bit try and get them all playing well together and which to be honest I, they are doing Donnelly, he hasn't scored yet in the league. We're trying to get him up there. So it might be a case I might swap him and read round. Give him all a bit of time in the middle. Have the other two providing. 
So, a draw is on the cards in this game as I can see Notts County and Gillingham cancelling each other out. Where are Gillingham? Gillingham are 16th at the moment. The six points are drift. It's early season. You've left Wilbraham out of the side. Um, he's just being rested. How much of the boost of Bradley Gamson's absence to your chances of winning? Focus on what we can do rather than what they're doing. Thank you very much. So, we're sticking with the 4 3 3. They're coming with a 4 4 2. Crossley, he's not very good on the opposition tactical. We shall, we should challenge the team to pick up where they left off. Let's see if they agree with that, sort of. This season has gone off quite well. I'm quite surprised. I'm surprised the formation is working quite well. I'd be even more surprised if we managed to uh, gain promotion straight away, but I'm not expecting it. It'd be nice if we could. We did have just under 8,000 when Bolton came. I would have expected a little bit more than that into the teens, really. Gingham have a free kick. Right, Jackson on the right hand side, a shot. Oh, that's a good good block. Gingham seem to be having the best part of the game so far in the first 20 minutes. Someone tackle him on the edge of the box. Close him down. He's gonna. It's good. Close to uh, Oh, good clearance. That's better. Have we got the ball? Yes, we have. Reed has it now. Into Jacobs. Jacobs over the top. Reed. Oh, it's in. Oh, you. Donnelly was nowhere near it. Oh, hang on. Oh, they've accepted it. What the hell? It's a brilliant mix-up there, but a great. That's a good start, but he's knocked it into the net himself. That's unfortunate, but I don't care how they go in. That's Reed with a beautiful strike. So we're 1-0 up. That's good. That wasn't the worst half we've seen. Let's see what they say to that. Okay. You weren't, Bob. I still have faith in you. Yeah, they're, they're liking a bit, a bit and ticking off. Right, okay, second off, left to right. Duffy has it, over to Brophy, inside to Connor. Is he going to pass it back? Attendance, 7,800. It'll help our finances a little bit. And what's gone off? Injury to pattern. What's what's happened here? Head injury. Oh, come on, seriously? Stick a bandage on him. Now... We'll give Whitfield. He hasn't really been playing that much since Patton's come in, and uh, now Jacobs is there. He's not going to get that much of a game time, but we'll give him some game time now because he is probably one of the younger, better players as well. Okay, 55 minutes gone. Free kick. O'Connor lashes it. Oh my word! What a strike! Second goal of the season. My word! Where did that come from? No run up at all, and the goalkeeper just was that just too powerful for him. Wow, we'll accept that. We're back on top of the table, which is uh, nice. Start thinking about making a couple of subs next. Let's get over this highlight, and then we'll make some substitutions. Right, so I'm going to close him down. Tackle? No. Heard as it for Gillingham. Over to Wagstaff. He is the danger man. That was too easy. That was a goal the minute it left the Morris's foot. Could I argue it's hot offside? Not so much coming from Donnelly, unfortunately. Sam Bernier can come on. And De Grac is available, which We'll bring him on for Duffy. We'll do that. Okay, let's play the game in the last 15 minutes. And luckily against Crawley, we were 4-0 up at the time before they started making a comeback. And I think it was the last 15, 20 minutes. They were all over us in the end. Um, we just didn't, I think we just took the foot off the pedal. Campbell has it. Over to Brofree. Inside to Connor. Jacobs. Over to Byrne. Reed. Back to... Burn Whitfield over to Tutor crossing Campbell. What a save! 
That's a good save by the goalkeeper. We're full of the cross. We're still struggling to make anything from set well from corners really. I think in one game we did have we did create a goal from a corner. It's a superb volley by Reed. I think is the hat trick against Crawley, I think it was I think it was the second goal. Two one. A win's a win. Don't need to address anything uh, crossly. Well, let's say nice victory. So two points ahead at the top. And a goal difference isn't too bad as well. We've only conceded six in five, which is good. We have scored 14. Happy with that. O'Connor picks up man of the match. How long is he going to be out for? Patton injured. Five to six days. So he's going to miss the next game. Right. Let's move on to Doncaster. Right, this is the side we're going to go with for this game. It's going to be slightly rotated a little bit. So, Loach comes in for Gillespie. Tutor continues at right back. De Cracker coming in for Dickey. And Guthrie and Dickinson him coming in for Brophy. In the middle, we have uh, the Rhino coming in to give O'Connor a bit of a rest. Jacob continues. And, of course, Thompson comes in for Lesniak as well. And pattern with him now being injured. Donnelly stay keeps his place, but we're going to move him into the central role. And we're going to bring Byrne and Hilton in in place of Campbell and Reed. They are on the bench, well Reed is at least anyway. Um, just in case, but we'll give them some game time. I don't want to rotate it too much, if we can help it. But I think the side we've got here is solid enough uh, to beat uh, Doncaster. This game will be very close. I think it would most likely come down to the lottery of a penalty shootout. Luke O'Neill and Ian Lawler will both be missed for their respective clubs. The key man is Alex Reed. He's sitting on the bench at the moment. And Mitchell Lund for Doncaster. So we'll continue with the 4-3-3. It's working. I'm not going to mess around with it. We're in a good run there. Go there and press. Let's give him a bit of faith. Let's get him all happy. Or sort of happy. Using our fringe players as well in other games. Because they will come thick and fast. Good interception by Guthrie there. Dickerson with a free kick to the Rhino. Pulls it to Hilton. What do you do when you have so many forwards and you can't play them all? I like to go back to the 4 2 4, but that's a beautiful turn. It's a great finish as well. Two minutes on the clock. The Rhino with the assist as well. Even though they have the possession, they don't seem to be doing an awful lot with it. Somebody just needs to header that. It's a good claim by Morosi. Tutu picks it up to Dickinson inside to Jacobs who seems to be pulling the strings in midfield which is good Thompson now has it comes forward what? and trips over his boot lace apparently the Rhino good turn inside to Jacobs to Burn Donnelly oof that was close should have been a goal Jacobs with a corner Need to hit them corners away from the goalkeeper. Maybe there's something in the instructions that puts it away from him. Jacobs brings it forward once again. Not a good ball to burn. Hilton now has it to Donnelly. That's his first goal for the club, I think. First goal of the season. That'll do him a world of good. So if we can manage to alternate the forwards who sit in that middle, each one of them is going to perform. Clear the heads, we don't need to address anything at this stage. Uh, it might be winning, but still change before and don't let that happen. Look stressed. Why are you looking so stressed, Loach? You're a waste of space anyway. I'm happy with your... I um, nearly press. I'm not happy. Oh, that's better. And Jacobs. Don't look so stressed, my friend. Oh, it doesn't seem to have worked. Okay. Straight back in. Thompson has it now. Inside to Hilton. 
Cross to Jacobs, who puts it forward. He's gone out wide. Oh, referee, free kick. Oh, where's O'Connor when you need it? Who's got this one? Guthrie. Nay. Why was he on the free kicks? I think, personally, that when it gets to free kicks like that, you should be able to choose there and then who you want to take it. Not that the game decides it. I think that would be quite a good thing. Same with penalties. Have a penalty in game instead of it automatically going to a certain individual. You should be able to pick there and then who you want to have it. Because if anybody's on a hat trick and they can't get to take the penalty or something like that, pointless because in real life it would happen, they would take the penalty. So we'll give Burn a run in the centre now. Whitfield we can bring on. Who's not playing too well? <laughs> See that? Jacobs, your levels are a bit low. We'll bring Thompson into the middle. Does that work? No, put it back. Okay, we'll try that. We'll look to bring Sellers on. Give him a bit of game time. Again, because we're not using wingers, we don't need them, which is unfortunate really because they're really good players. Anybody going to tackle? Oh, come on. Looch, what the hell are you doing? No man putting your hand in your head. Or head in your hands, rather. Oh, let's walk across the goal. Two of them stand there. Let's not make any movement whatsoever. Sam Burn, you're not playing well at all. We'll give her Sellers a run out. Is that our third sub? No, we can do one more. Rob Dickey. Bring you in for two till maybe. Playing really well. He's quite inspirational at the back. It's good to have him um, on his full time staff rather than a loanee. Alright, half a minute to go. Come on, don't be silly. That's a good clearance. Hilton, go on on your, on your bike. You can run with this or not. To Sellers. Over to Donnelly. Donnelly, bring it wide. Come on. Inside to Rhino, Dickinson, Whitfield, Sellers. Oh, he's offside. He's only just come on as well. That'll do. It was a sort of easy game. Jermaine Hilton picks up man of the match with a 7.8. Don't think we need to address. We'll calmly say that's well done, lads. That's a good win. Let's keep him happy as much as possible. Right, so I think we'll leave it there. Um, we'll come back to the next game of the Checker Trade Trophy I reckon away to Mansfield a win there would definitely see us through and uh, away to Charlton afterwards as well yeah I think that's what we'll do we'll play them few games there Mansfield Charlton to come if you like the video please pop a like on there if you want to see more please subscribe and uh, thank you very much for watching thank you